Hello, welcome back. Right, MSX um, gets its very own video today again. Um, this is Night Night, which is a very new game, um, 2019 game from Usebox.net. Uh, I will pop a link in the description box below as to where you can download it, um, and also an MSX emulator if you want. If you like what you see and you want to try it, now this is available for download, um, but it's also available on cartridge as well, which is really quite cool. Um, I know very, very little about um, the MSX, so I'm sort of indebted to Duncan Edwards um, for pointing me um, in the direction of this game. I contacted him earlier today. Um, Duncan uh, manufactures some of the tape emulator devices, um, one in particular called Castuino, which I've ordered today in order to help me sort of um, play as many sort of MSX titles as um, possible. And in the discussion about the device, um, we started talking about the MSX and he pointed me out to um, the fact that there are still new games being developed. Now, like I said, I've, I know nothing about the MSX, um, but wouldn't have been surprised that there were sort of like new games being released for it, as there are on all the other systems. The only one that I was ever aware of was um, the Sword of Ayana from a couple of years back. And the only reason I was aware that was an MSX release as, um, as well, a new game, is because it was also released for the Spectrum. And when I downloaded the Spectrum version, there was stuff on there about um, an MSX2 version being available. So because it's MSX2, I can't show you it on this. But this is a really fun little game. And I'm like I've said in other videos, I don't want to collect these machines and just not use them. Um, I want to get the sort of most out of them that I can. And, you know, I've got a lot of catching up to do with regards to the MSX. Um, there's an awful lot to... Uh, of suggestions people have made of uh, games to play, um, etc. But like I say, I'm a total newbie to the, the machine. It's a blank canvas as far as I'm concerned. One of the things I do know is that um, apparently um, for the European UK market, the, the titles um, were mostly sort of like lazy sort of spectrum ports. Um, nothing wrong with that if the game was good, but there wasn't too much that showed off the MSX's uh, potential as a gaming machine now. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Like I say, I'm no expert on it. Um, but one of the reasons I've gone for the, the, the machine that Duncan um, provides, which I will be showing you um, as and when I get it, is that um, I want to experience some of the, the sort of like lesser known games to us, the ones that are really sort of like um, grade A MSX titles, just to see sort of how good or bad um, they are. But anyway, this is Night Night from... Um, Oh, from Usebox.net. It's a really fun little game. Um, if you haven't checked it out and you're an MSX fan, please do so. If not, like I say, there's the link down there where you can get both um, an emulator and also the file itself. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, right, here we are then. Um, Night Night from uh, usebox.net now the plot of this game it's a simple single screen platformer game multiple screens etc um, you are Sir Bernard and you are an insomniac and you can't get to sleep and the only way you can do so is to have a walk around Scarkeep Castle which is where you live which being a bit of a pain in the arse is inhabited by all sorts of nasties the undead, werewolves, archers, cats, uh, ghosts and loads of other things um, so let's get into it. So I'm playing this with the joystick. Um, I've been really enjoying this game. It is a lot of fun. Now, here we go. That's me down there in the bottom left. That's Bernie in his gym jams. Now, as you can see, I've got to, what I've got to do on each stage is colour all the different floor tiles in um, by passing over them. And I'm up against the clock, as you can see in the middle of the uh, top screen there, top uh, bar there. And... Um, Eventually you'll see things come along like hourglasses and stuff that um, will stop the clock for you. Um, items that will reset it. Items that will protect you from um, hits from um, the archer's bows or any kind of baddies. Now once I've coloured all the squares yellow, as you can see up in the top left there, the key to the door has uh, appeared. Now I need to get that and I've only got just over 10 seconds left to get to the exit. Um, there we go. Um, the graphics on this are, are wonderful nice and simple but also full of detail and that sort of tune that's going on is um, really really great 
this is excellent. And as I've said about a lot of Spectrum homebrew stuff, some of the quality of it, um, the games being released nowadays, is of such a high standard that um, you'd have quite happily paid full price for them if they were, oh, for God's sake, if they were released back in the day. Now you see there's a jewel down there at the bottom that's just appeared that I can collect, but I'm never going to get there, I don't think, before it disappears. Um, I've kind of cocked this up a little bit. Oh, no, I haven't. So there we go. There's the key. Just appeared there. Um... Lovely animation, um, lovely tune that um, gets stuck in your head. Let's just turn that up a bit. Okay, and as you can see, the screens get more and more sort of progressively difficult. Now, one of the things I have noticed is when you move, he will keep moving until you stop him. There's one of the archers I was on about. Oh, no, that's Monty Python, isn't it? What's the archer theme tune? I can't remember now. Serves me right for being a smart ass, I suppose. Um, yeah, so what do you think of it? There we go, there's the hourglass. Let's try and get that. So that's reset my timer, which is very handy, which means this level should turn out to be a doddle in the end. Oh, there's the key. What a great little game this is. It's very, very simple to pick up and play, um, but it's quite sort of stressful because you're up against the time limit, like I said. And as you would expect, each stage gets progressively a little more trickier than the last. Ah! Baz, I lost a life! Oh, and he's lost another one. The archer's got me again. Now, that shield will protect me from one hit. Oh, shit. Right, I've only got 20 seconds left to... Oh, uh. oh I'm never going to do this. Baz, you messed this one up spectacularly. Unless the key appears. No. Oh, there it is. Oh, I might do it. I might just do it. Oh. Yes. Now, like I said on the intro, I'm completely new to the um, MSX and particularly its homebrew scene. But um, Duncan has provided me with some more examples to look at, which I will, of course, um, be doing. Oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, that's going to be game over. Oh, dear. That's actually the furthest I've got so far. I don't actually know how many screens there are. Um, but let's have another go, because this is really um, nice and addictive. There is also, as you can see there, a password option. I completely forgot to mention that. Right. Do, 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 do. It's one of those lovely, simple tunes um, that never gets on your tits, but annoyingly gets stuck in your head, if you know what I mean. And oftentimes, isn't it always the case, the games with the simplest design are the very best. Oh, right, okay, yeah, I forgot some. Do, 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 do. See what I mean? Um, it just keeps going, unless that's the joystick doing that. But it's not a bad thing, by any means. It absolutely detracts from the game, not at all. I want, uh, and this is the kind of game that would port well to any system. You know, Commodore, Amstrad, BBC Micro. Um, oh. It would be a great game on all of them, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, up against it a bit here, Baz. Oh, fuck me, yeah. No, may, may not, all oh, may not be lost. No, managed to get it. Reminds me in places of one of my favourite Spectrum games. Um, 
which is a, a game called Carlos, which came out in about 2000 and something or other. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's far more sort of involved than this, but there's just something about its pick up and play. Oh, playability that's um, reminding me of it. If you don't know the game Carlos on the Spectrum, go and check it out. K-A-R-L-O-S. It's, um, I do have a video of it in my, um, oh shit, in my channel. Uh, right, there we go. Oh, let's reset our timer. Oh, for God's sake. Get out of the way, you clown. Right, oh, I've only got... This is last life. Ah, oh, and there we go. That um, death animation is a bit like the Ghosts and Goblins um, one, you know, where he collapses into a pile of bones. I am just going to have just one more go on this because I'm quite enjoying myself here. I appreciate I'm supposed to be making a video, but... This is good fun. Um, I suppose there is a challenge in sort of being able to see how quickly you can complete the um, the levels. And this first one. I was going to say, I should be able to breeze through it, but um, I just realised I've missed a load of tiles over here. Uh, there we go. See, although the... Oh, for fuck... Although the um, uh, the sort of bad guys' at, um, graphics are quite small, they're, they're quite detailed and like full of character, as is um, uh, Young Bernard's as well. That's not my real name. My real name's Bernard. Ah! Oh, this goes not going as well as I thought it would. Oh, fuck. We're jumping right up his ass there. Um, right, okay. Well, that's sort of ten minutes of um, Night Night for the MSX. And it is a brilliant game. Okay, let's go to the outro. Okay, there we go. That was Night Night from Usebox.net. Um, available for download from the link um, below. It's absolutely fantastic. What a fun, simple little game. Easy for idiots like me to pick up and play. It's got just the right amount of um, difficulty level to have me not um, huffing off in a sulk um, because I can't get anywhere in it. A great little game, wonderful graphics, wonderful sound, lovely animation, very, very nice use of colours. Everything about it is great. And the fact that it's free as well, if you choose to download it, um, you know, you can't complain about that. And I've said that before, you know, people who give up their spare time to create um, these games for us, be whatever the system may be, you know, they really deserve to be applauded because they're keeping things alive for other people to um, newer uh, generations, etc. If they're interested to um, discover what these um, machines can offer, such as you know, only in the last few months, the BBC Master has had um, a version of uh, Stunt Car Racer um, released for it. You know, what kind of technical feat that must have been for people to pull off what in what must have been their spare time um totally amazing i've not played that game myself because unfortunately i don't have a bbc master but it looks absolutely um fantastic and again the spectrum homebrew scene commodore amstrad is all vibrant is the only thing you can say and i'm so glad to see that um new games are being released for the msx as well um, I've got more to try and I am going to be bringing you those um, as well um, because it's great. I think it's absolutely fantastic that, um, you know, these machines live on and they march on. Whereas, you know, our, our, our PCs and stuff, we sort of change them every couple of years, don't we? Because they become obsolete. And these old boxes, you know, they're 
slogging on. In some cases, they're a bit like Trigger's broom, you know, with the amount of new bits and pieces they have added to them. But it's just brilliant. I, I love that kind of thing. And Night Night is just so refreshing to see. Um, it's great. If you're an MSX fan, try it out if you haven't. That's it, really. I've waffled on enough. I think you can tell I like the game. Um, thank you ever so much for watching. If you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But if you do subscribe, as ever, please take the time to join in with the conversation and discussion because that is what it's all about. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye.